Good afternoon and welcome to the brief at 30 for the news first team. I'm Dithmini De Silva. In local news, parliamentarian Mayanta Disanayaka has been appointed as the chairman of the Committee on Public Finance by the Parliament Select Committee. The post was previously held by MP Harsha De Silva and his term ended when Parliament was prorogued. Mava Pereda Mudal Karga Sabhave Sabhapati Hatiata Vipakse Yojanakara Puekama Nama Hatiata. On Tuesday, I was appointed as the chairman of the Committee on Public Finance as my name was the only name nominated by the opposition. The speaker agreed to it. Lakshman Kirela also informed me of the same. Today, there was another selection committee by the opposition. My name was proposed again as the MP, but in the government selection committee, they proposed Mayanthadi Sanayaka's name as the opposition MP. After that, power was misused and Mayanthadi Sanayaka was appointed as the chairman of the Committee on Public Finance without paying attention to the opposition. There is no issue but this is abuse of power by the government kala mayanta disanayaka mathumawa pat karala tiyenawa mudal karaka sabhave sabhapati hatiyata prashnayak ne pat wenna ekkana pilibandawa nemei metana mewa ekak tiyen namuth meka rajya tamange bale avabhavita kirima in news overseas rescuers have found the bodies of all four people on board a small plane which crashed into an active philippine volcano last week Authorities on Thursday confirmed the deaths of the two Filipino pilots and two Australian passengers. Search teams had scoured the slopes of the Mayon volcano since Sunday when the aircraft wreckage was spotted about 300 metres from the crater. Teams now face the challenge of safely retrieving the bodies. Local Filipino authorities said they will investigate the cause of the plane's crash. The Cessna 340 aircraft went missing on Saturday shortly after departing for Manila from a local airport several kilometres from Mayon one of the Philippines' most active volcanoes that last erupted in 2018. And in sports, England have named an unchanged team as they aim for a seventh successive win in the second test against New Zealand. The tourists had monitored the fitness of pace bowlers James Anderson, Stuart Broad and Ollie Robinson following the 267-run win in the first test. Though England's first test win at Mount Maunganui finished with a day to spare on Sunday, there were still doubts over the recovery of the pace trio, in particular Anderson and Robinson. All three men bowled in Wellington on Wednesday but did not take part in optional training on Thursday as wet weather forced England to practice indoors. Stokes said he had sent text messages to the bowlers to check on their fitness before the Friday start and that all three had been encouraged by the green colour of the basin reserve pitch. That's all the news for this hour. Join us again at 3.30 for more of the very latest.